Hey guys, I'm here with another review. This is the Rockstar Thermal Neon Blast. Uh, I did a Rockstar Thermal earlier, and I think it was a pretty good energy drink, in my opinion. It was all right. Um, Rockstar, normally they're made in New York, but this one's made in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, up until earlier, I've never had Rockstar Thermal. I never tried it, never heard of it, or anything. I just happened to find these two yesterday. I thought I'd try them, see how they were. Um, these here, they have more caffeine than most rock stars. They have like 300 milligrams of caffeine, so they're a little bit stronger than most. Um, but yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about these. They do have, <clears throat> from the name, they do have a little bit of heat to them, but not much. Uh, but, like I said, the other one was pretty good. I think this one might be pretty good as well. But, yeah, I like Rockstar for the most part. So, I think this one might be just as good as the other one. Yeah, let's see how this is. Hmm. Not bad. It does have some heat. Um, <clears throat> it kind of tastes like... Hmm. That reminds me of cotton candy, honestly. It's not bad. Doesn't have, <clears throat> doesn't really have that much cheap, but it does remind me of cotton candy. It's not bad, it's not a bad flavor, honestly. But yeah, I found these at a gas station. They're like a uh, typical one these days, probably about three dollars a can. That's with the tax and stuff. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if they got these online. Um, I haven't exactly looked. Like I said, up until yesterday, I never heard of these. So I don't know if they got them online or not. I would have to check that out. So far, not bad. It's a pretty good taste. Now, I will say this. The only real problem is it does not have a strong flavor. I mean, it has some flavor, but it's not that strong. If I had to write the flavor... Literally from 1 to 10, I would give it about a 3 or a 4. That's probably my only complaint with this thing. It, it just doesn't have that strong of a flavor to it. Other than that, it's actually not bad. Would I buy it again? Because of where it does not have that much of a flavor... I probably would not, just due to that small fact. I mean, if that's all there was, and I was wanting some caffeine or something, I would probably buy it, but, excuse me, just for the heck of it, I probably would not. Yeah. Yeah. I probably wouldn't buy it just for the heck of it. Probably if that's all there was. Like I said, my only complaint is it just lacks flavor. Like, it has a... 
I'm not saying it does not have flavor. It's just very weak. If that makes sense. It's just very weak to me. I don't like drinking some with weak flavor. This one definitely does have a weak flavor to it. I'll certainly finish it. Don't get me wrong. I can finish it. But I probably wouldn't buy it again. Probably not. I mean, I've literally drunk probably a little over half. I've probably already drunk a little over half of it just to have it gone. But no. No, I definitely wouldn't drink it again, probably. Unless I had to. Or if somebody bought me one, I'd take it. But I'd take a drink at the end. Other than them scenarios, for a regular, no, I would not. It's not, but yeah, not too bad. Other than the flavor, no. But I do have some new energy drinks I never heard of coming in the mail today. I'll probably start doing reviews on them tomorrow, so watch out for them. I would today, but I'd rather keep them in the fridge for a day to get them good and cold. That's why I went ahead and did two reviews today. Yeah. But yeah, that is the Rockstar Thermal Neon Blast. Like I said, I do have some more coming in the mail today, hopefully. So, I'll probably do them in the next couple of days. So, watch out for them. And I'll take and see you all in.